Hi guys, welcome back to this clown's house. In this video, I'll show you how to repair a dryer, electric dryer, that works, but there's no heat being produced. Most likely the culprit is this. It's a uh, thermal fuse. And I'll show you what that is in a moment. But to check this, you take the wires off it. You just you could just take one wire off it and set your multimeter to the ohm scale. It's uh, by the horseshoe horseshoe uh, shape over there and if it shows OL at a, at a limit that means there's no continuity here and it's bad now a good one should actually show close to pretty much exactly when you touch these together so in other words going should be around there and that's what it is when I touch these together so let me show you on the dryer now how to fix this. Now before I go forward, this is the kit that I bought. It's a Whirlpool dryer thermostat kit. It's part number 3977393. And I believe I got it from Appliance Pros, Parts Pros, sorry. Appliancepartspros.com, I think it was. And it comes with the thermal fuse, the high limit thermostat, and a jumper wire and a terminal, two terminals in here. So I'll show you how to put that on now. First things first is unplug it from the outlet or turn the breaker off. Now when you go down here, this is a thermal fuse. You pop off the two terminals, one's on top, one's on the bottom. Then you have a quarter inch headed bolt screw sorry that goes through here and you just pop this out now by pulling it out like this and the new one same way you just put the new one in here and you put the screw in here and you put these terminals back where they were so I'm gonna go do that now so this is your high limit thermostat you take the red wire off from the top the orange wire from the bottom out and you take a flat head and you could pry this out and the bottom will also come off push it out with the flat head there's a terminal just gotta take that out off the terminal on the bottom and you take the orange wire first you could cut off terminal and strip it go about maybe quarter of an inch and you take one of the terminals from the kit you put it in there and you crimp it down Now to install the new high limit thermostat, you push this tab in, and this also comes with two quarter inch screws, there's already two holes here to put this in. Once that's installed, you take your jumper wire and you connect the orange to this tab over here. Now that you've connected the jumper wire, you connect the jumper wire on the thermostat. You connect the other part down here and this one down here of the jumper wire and then you connect the red wire and you're done now you can test it and this is how it looks everything installed thanks for watching Check out my channel for more home improvement stuff.
anything related to the house. Check underneath to share me, like me, whatever you want to do down there. Feel free. Thanks for watching and toodles.